Hey everyone, any news this week? Well, I've got a cold, as you can hear, and Benjamin Netanyahu was indicted by the ICC, and I don't know who's got it worse, frankly. As to the ICC, I think the cricket committee accused Netanyahu of ball tampering during his recent match against Hamas, although in all seriousness that court was like a modern-day Dreyfus trial, and it will likely end the same way. Entertainer Paddy McGuinness is under fire after a claim that he stopped off midway for a charity cycling event to have a slap-up meal at a Michelin-starred restaurant. If I were his lawyer, I would just argue that he thought he had a puncture and that the Michelin place would sell him a new tyre. Former Deputy Prime Minister John Prescott died this week at the quite astonishing age of 86, so hope for the rest of us, I guess, although I think he was a lot sportier in his youth. Anyway, that farm worker from Wales has presumably been invited down to the funeral, you know, to throw one last egg at the procession. As to the cause of death, well, John Two Jags Prescott died of Alzheimer's, although I thought he died of a heart attack after seeing his beloved Jaguar launching a new advertising campaign this week, in which they went full Bud Light and decided to appeal to young gender-obsessed activists rather than, you know, men over the age of 40 who like roguish V8 sports cars. At a certain level, I will admit to seeing some of their argument about needing to differentiate themselves from the likes of BMW or Audi. Sales have struggled for years after all. On the other hand, I can't remember seeing any Jaguar advert of late, and they really could have just made a short one where a cad with a five o'clock shadow speeds along the Thames and Bankman to go fetch his much younger girlfriend and then the company would go on to double car sales. Except of course what we got was a company presumably about to pivot to a range of all-electric vehicles, a category of car that the public seemingly have no real desire to buy anyway, and all sold with a new logo that nobody recognises and which may as well just be a cheap import from a Chinese manufacturer. It's all worth contrasting things with the recent advert for the Volvo EX90, in which a white father worries about his young daughter's safety as she leaves home. It's filmed by the bloke that did Oppenheimer and Inception, and it's quite frankly brilliant. Although when I do get a car next, it'll probably be an Alpha. Anyway, let's close with a classic. What's the difference between a Jaguar and a Mercedes? The answer is, of course, that Princess Diana wouldn't be caught dead in a Jaguar. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.